Chess friends, how are you? Ramesh Pragnanandha is a 18 years old boy and his opponent who is the world champion and a top rated player, Magnus Carlsen 32 years which is twice Pragnanandha's age. They played against each other in Fide Championship. I will show you the two game between them. Life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards. So let's go. Carlsen started the game with e4. We have e5 knight to f3 knight c6. Magnus didn't play the standard Rui Lopez, instead he played knight c3, knight f6 and we have Spanish opening, Prague played knight d4 intently, you can go for the free pawn but there is amazing queen e7 move which will create problem on this file, so Magnus decided to capture the knight, takes to target this, e5 d takes, c3 pawn takes f6. Prague is playing well, it's an incredible thing that a teenager boy is competing with Magnus Carlsen, Maybe Prague was Bobby Fischer in his previous birth, ha ha ha. If you dare to take the pawn, let me show you the variation, the bishop will get the amazing diagonal, takes and after castle, this position will be plus 5 advantages for white, black will face so many problems at the time by the bishops and rook, let me extend the position, bishop e7 then Magnus will play queen h5, a6 then rook e1 can be played. Sacrificing the bishop, because after takes we will take the f6 pawn, it will create pressure to the bishop, rook g8 queen h4, so d6 bishop takes bishop queen ups bishop takes check and that's it, the king will be totally trapped and now you has to play queen e6 to block the check, the rest is up to you, people think that Pragnanandha will defeat Magnus Carlsen and he will make chess history, they are expecting that, look at me, if Pragnanandha successfully defeat Magnus Carlsen then what? After 10 to 15 years later, Magnus Carlsen's 16-year-old son will defeat 30-year-old Pragnanandha, and the chess history will be 1-1, lol, anyway back to the position, we have queen takes f6, pawn takes pawn bishop c5 to target this pawn, so queen e2 check, queen e6 bishop f4 to target this pawn, we have queen exchanges and e6, bishop p3 d5, c4 takes takes, they know that the game will be a draw, bishop takes c2 will not change anything, if you take it then after rook c1, bishop g6 bishop takes check. We will simply win back material, that's it, so back to the position, Pragnanandha plays for the win, bishop d3 bishop e6 king f1 rook e8 b3 and, after few moves later, we have f3, Magnus wants to push his kingside pawns, actually Magnus is not getting a single weakness of Prague, he is playing almost perfectly, Prague is good at opening, he is good at middle game and also in the end game, by the way, Chandrayaan 3 is successfully landed in the moon, this is the great achievement of India, and our scientists. We have some source of standard move, g6 and they both decided to draw the game, because there is nothing to do with these lazy pawns, in the semi-final round we have Magnus Fabiano. A base off and Pragnanandha Grandmaster, comment who you are with, I am with Pragnanandha and Magnus Carlsen, ok, let's go into our next game, this game is fantastic since there is reversed Sicilian opening, Prague started the game with c4, e5 knight f3 knight to f6, Magnus can consider the strong moves like d5 or bishop b4 in his next turn, but after knight f3 Magnus played knight c6 peacefully, he don't want to make any war and chess tactics, just exchange the pieces and make the game draw. This four knights opening is more likely to draw as we seen in our previous game, now Prague can play flexible move d3, let me show you the variation, black will strike in the center with d5, then after takes takes, everything will be fine, play g3 a3, give a coca cola chocolate to Pragnanandha, he will be happy, but in our actual game, Prague played g3 intelligently, he played kingside fumetto line because he is willing to win the game. And Magnus wants to draw the game because black pieces is not suitable for win, we have d5, center exchanges, bishop g2 knight f6 b4, that's a brilliant move, Prague find it correctly because he is not a human, he is a genius human, if you dare to take the pawn, let me show you the variation, then we will sacrifice the knight by capturing the pawn, knight takes e5 queen a4 check, the bishop will be trapped and knight c6 isn't possible because the bishop is already in there. So after bishop d7 we will capture the piece, black will face problem on this diagonal and this file, it may cause victory for white, so back to the position, Carlsen played bishop d6, 
we have b5 to target the knight, knight d4 and you shouldn't capture the knight, that is why we have queen a4 to add pressure to the knight, we have knight exchanges, short castle, do you think Carlson will win over Pragnin and her? I don't think so because Carlson have years and tears of practices and this Prague boy who have only 18 age, playing as well as a stockfish level 9, just wow. If you look at what you have in life, you always have more, if you look at what you don't have in life, you'll never have enough, that's the reality, we have pawn exchanges, Prague gets the d5 square for the knight and a4 is a good move to play, we have bishop d7 queen here to target the pawn, so after bishop c6 we have queen exchanges, bishop exchanges, few moves later we have rook a8 rook b6 to get active on this rank, rook c8 rook c1 to get this file and lasering to this pawn. The game is totally drawable since Magnus played 4 knights variation, he was trying to defend his title through the game, anyway, we are getting closer to end game, Prague could take the pawn, but we have knight d2, rook a it's knight here e4 and we have pawn exchanges, and after some moves later we have full pieces exchanges, in this position, they decided to draw the game, anyway wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.